Hello my dudes, my name is Leah and today I have another update for the Pad Those Eyeshadows Project Pan. This project pan was created by Alexi, I'll have her channel linked down below and at the end of this video as always. How I structure my project is I'm working on 5 randomly generated eyeshadows at a time and my goal is to hit pan on them. If there's a shadow that I don't feel like I can hit pan on in a reasonable amount of time, I do have the option to roll it out after 20 uses. I do also have a focus palette going on in this project pan, so one of my eyeshadows is always going to come from the Jeffree Star Alien palette. I want to work this palette out of my collection because it's a brand I don't support. Before I walk you through every shade, I'm just going to pop up a picture of the current color story I've been working on. It's been super fun playing with these shadows, but I'm ready to mix it up. So let's just get into the update. Alright, so let's just start off with the shadow that's been in this project the longest, and that is a single from Makeup Geek in the shade Dirty Martini. I'll pop up a picture of what it was looking like in our last update. It did have a really good dip going but here is where it's at today. So as you can see, I was able to hit pan on it. I used it seven more times since our last update were a total of 16 uses to hit pan on. I don't know if you can tell, but these shadows, they are deep. This took me 16 uses to hit pan on, like I mentioned, but it felt like forever. I just never thought this was going to end and I'm happy to be rolling it out because I never thought this day would come, but I'm getting burnt out on greens. I just need a break from greens. Usually they're my favorite eyeshadows to wear, but I've been panning so many recently that I'm just ready to mix it up. So I'm glad that this shadow is rolling out and we will pick a new one at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Okay, so our next shadow comes from the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction Palette. It's the shade Rose Gold 005. I'll pop up a picture of what it looked like in our last update, but this is where it's at today. It's this one right here. You can definitely tell I've been using it, but no dip, nowhere near pan with this one. I did reach for it seven more times this month for a total of 12 uses, so we have eight more uses to go until this shadow can be rolled out. I definitely am not going to be able to hit pan on this shadow, so it's definitely a 20 user. I really do enjoy this shadow. It's super sparkly and pretty all over the lid. I like to use it with a glitter primer, and yeah, I'm happy to be working on it. This will stay in the project. Okay, our next shadow comes from the Focus palette, the Jeffree Star Alien palette. I was working on the shade called Area 51, which is a matte purple. And here is a picture of what it looked like in our last update, but it's looking like this today. So we're getting a dip, which is really exciting. I've reached for it six times since our last update for a total of 15 uses in the project. I still don't think I'm anywhere near pan, but I am happy to be seeing some progress. I actually used this shadow as an eyeliner. I mixed it with some Inglot Duraline, so that helped me make a pretty good dip in it this month. But I am happy to be working on this and it will stay in the project. And then our last two shadows that I'm going to show you were rolled in during our last update. So the first one comes from the Ace Beauté Flare palette. I was working on the shade called Sherbert. So I'll show you what it looked like in our last update when it was rolled in, but here's where it's at today. If it will focus. There we go. You can see I do have a good dip going. I've reached for this shadow six times since it was rolled in. It did have a dip previously before I rolled it into this project. I really love this shadow. It's probably my favorite shadow out of the whole palette, so I'm not surprised that I already had a dip on it before it was rolled into this project, and I'm really happy to be working on it. The only thing is I am a little bit burnt out on greens, as I already mentioned, so it has been a bit of a struggle to want to reach for this one, but I do make sure to include this shadow every time I do reach for it a green look. So this will be staying in. I really want to try and get pan on this for our next update because at this point it is the closest shadow to pan out of all my current shadows that I'm working on. And that leads us to our last shadow which comes from the Kaleidos VR Neon palette. I was working on the matte orange called Boss so I'll show you a picture of what it looked like in our last update but here is where it's at today. 
So I'm not sure if it will pick up on camera, but I do have the baby's dip starting to form. I have reached for this shadow six times as well. And this one, I have a feeling will be a 20 user and it will be rolled out because this shadow is so pigmented. You really don't need much every time you use it. And I'm really not making much progress in the pan so far, but we'll see after I continue to use it if it starts to make a decent dip where I think I'll actually have a chance of hitting pan on it or if I will choose to roll it out after 20 uses. I'm not sure yet, but we are quite a ways away from making that decision. So this will be staying in. So those are all the shadows I have in my project currently. So before we generate our new shadow, I'm just going to quickly go over pan percentage and share some looks that I created this month with you guys. So for pan percentage, I have 1,268 eyeshadows in my collection and 88 of those eyeshadows have pan showing on them. So that leaves me with a pan percentage of 6.94%. In our last update, we were at 7.01%. So we did go down, unfortunately, from our last update, but I'm not worried about it because I did declutter three palettes and I completely finished a couple shades as well. So now I'm just going to scooch over to the side and I'm going to share with you the looks I created. So this first look I have to share with you is probably my favorite I created over this past month. So I used Kaleido's Boss in my crease and outer corner. I put a vibrant multi-chrome from Cleona all over the lid, did a winged liner, and then smoked out my lower lash line with Area 51, that matte purple from Jeffree Star. So that's how I created this look. It really reminded me of Halloween and I felt pretty spooky in it. This next look is a monochromatic purple look. So the only eyeshadow I used from my pan, those eyeshadows was Jeffree Star Area 51 and I put that in my crease and outer corner and lower lash line. I do have another Cleona Multichrome called Enamel all over my lid. And this last look I have to share with you guys, I used Kaleidos Boss in my crease, outer corner, and lower lash line. I used Pat McGrath Rose Gold 005 on the lid. I did a brown winged liner, and then I did use my neon orange Suva Beauty Hydra liner to kind of tuck a little line underneath my winged liner, just for something extra. So that is the last look I have to share with you, and now let's jump into generating our new shadow. Okay, so I have my pretty random app set up here, so we're just going to shake it and see what we get. 988. Okay, I'm going to go grab this shadow and bring it back to share it with you. Okay, so I'm back with my eyeshadow and we pulled number 928, which actually corresponds to a shadow from my Natasha Denona Gold palette, which is really exciting. I actually got this palette almost exactly a year ago for my birthday, so I am really excited to be pulling it out again. But the shade that we pulled is called Sparks. It's this really icy white with a gold flip inner corner type of shade. So I imagine I'll just be using this shadow on my inner corner. I think it's a little bit too light to put all over the lid, but I'm really happy that I get to pull out this palette. It's not the most exciting shade from this palette by any means, but I am really happy that this palette will be out so I can reach for some of the other shades in here as well. I'm not sure that this is a shadow I'll be able to hit pan on just because Natasha Denona shadows are quite a challenge to hit pan on. So we'll see, um, only time will tell, but I'm really excited to bring this into my rotation. But that is pretty much everything for this update. I'm just gonna pop up a picture of my new color story. This is what I'll be working with for the next month. Let me know what colors you think I should pair together or any look ideas. I love recreating your ideas. But yeah, that's everything for this update. Thank you so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe, but I'll talk to you next time. Bye.